Hi there, in this video I'm going to share a tiny piece of information but it's incredibly powerful. I'm going to also keep this video real short. Basically, it's something which you can apply to so many different situations but I'm going to apply it specifically to the recall where you're calling your dog and you want them to come. So first of all, picture this, and this is how most people have it. You know, it applies at home and at the park. Dog comes up to you, they lean against your leg, you give them a pat, they want to cuddle, you give them a cuddle, they climb on top of you, or they sit on your foot and you just pat them. So basically they say, I want a pat, you give me attention, and you give it for free. Now, here's the problem. You then call your dog when they're at the park, and they don't come. Why not? Because they're busy digging a hole, sniffing a bush, playing with someone else. Your, basically your pets, your cuddles and your affection are not that valuable to your dog. So they kind of look at you, they hear you, and they kind of go, yeah, nah, nah, I'll come later. Basically, if I want a pet, I'll come and tell you to give me a pet. Now, here's the change you need to make. What you want is basically, look, we've got four dogs, one's over here, three over here. What you want is you want your dogs hanging out for pets, cuddles and affection. You don't want them hanging around your feet. Oh no, but you want them really looking forward to a pet or a cuddle. So when you say, Inca, Inky, come here, they come. Why? Not because I've got food or I ain't got any food on me at all. I've got a camera bag in here, but there's no food in on me. But look at her Linky. What's she come for? She's come for pats, cuddles, and affection. And you watch these other dogs. They're already watching me to say, hey, what's happening? Peanut, come here, darling. Jack, come. Mosey, come. Look at that. What are they coming for? They're coming for my pats, cuddles, and affection. Because it's not free. You don't get this stuff for free, you good dogs. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. Peanut, come here. Yes, darling. You, 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 you come. <laughs> Where are you wandering off to, Peanut? You better be coming for a pat. But the point is, if you give your pats, cuddles, and affection away for free, then basically, hey, you boys, I'm trying to make a beautiful video here. Can you play really nicely? If you give your pets, cuddles, and affection for free, your dogs won't work for it. So here's the key thing. When your dog comes up to you for a pat, just ignore them. Calmly close down your energy, turn away. Don't pat them when they come up to you. But when you want to give them a pat, you call them. It's a bit like that game, Simon Says. You know, Simon Says, come. Inky, come. I called Inka. So Inky gets a pat. But if this dog comes up to me and demands pats, cuddles, and affection, then she doesn't get it. And that's a simple rule. Hey, look, I know it's hard when your dog comes up with big sooky eyes and they go, please give me a pat. I love, love you. I love you. Please give me a pat. It's tough to start with, but once you put it in place, it's real easy. And the impact it'll have on your dog over a, a long period of time is huge. So put it in place. It may take a couple of days before it really has that big impact. But then when you go to the park, you'll see the difference and you'll be glad you did. So there you go. A very powerful trick technique call it what you want for getting your dogs to come when you call them i thought i'd finish here with just a little bit of a lovely footage of my boys playing uh, as they do on the back garden recall it is one of those things where there's lots of different tricks tips techniques i'd love to share more with you there are hundreds of videos on this and many other topics inside my site check it out with when you're ready i'm doggy dan thanks for watching and have a great day